Hello dear viewers, this is Muhammad Azruddin from Web Trainings Academy. In this today's video, we are going to understand what is the concept of Google Analytics and why should we use Google Analytics in a real-time scenario. As you are already aware that in the today's world, digital marketing is a very very crucial tool for any business, whether it's small business or medium-sized business or a very large corporate company. So when you are doing the digital marketing, right? So we have to understand like how can we use this digital marketing? Like first of all, we will use the various channels like search engine optimization. We use pay-per-click marketing. We can use display marketing. We will be using social media optimization and many other channels. The question is. Out of all these marketing efforts, which marketing effort, effort is helping you to increase your sales? If you know that option, it will be very great for you and further uh, in future you can able to make some changes according to that requirement, yes or no? If you take for example, let's take uh, according to my analysis, I have seen that if I am spending say 10,000 rupees on Facebook ads and I am spending 10,000 rupees on uh, Google AdWords and according to my research, according to my reports, I have got an information, I got the reports that I am getting more conversions from Facebook. Automatically, I can change my uh, marketing strategy targeting more Facebook ads rather than Google advertisement. The reason behind that is the return over investment. So, wherever, whichever channel gives us a better return over investment, I am going to target that particular channel. So, we have to first understand how we use this particular measurement. As you know, if I am able to measure the entire uh, resources, like where, where I am getting more traffic, where I am getting more conversions, it will be helpful for us. So, for that, I will be we will be using in our course the concept of Google Analytics. So we will study about Google Analytics to understand the various things. Now what is the basic functionality like how can we use Google Analytics is number one understand the user behavior. Now let me give you a small example here. How what do you mean by user behavior? Let me give you an idea. If I ask you a question okay the question is in your website how many users are coming for the first time and how many users are coming returning in the sense some users will be there who have visited your website for the first time okay some users will be there already who they visited your website but again they will come and visit your website again so if you know this uh, range like who are the new visitors who are the returning visitors can you take some decisions you will know yes some people are visiting our site again and again so we can make some decisions based on that or let's take for example one more behavior if suppose if I if you get an information if you get the from analytics we get an information like how many users are coming from web web browsers that are using it using desktop and how many users are coming using mobile so if you suppose in our reports we see that more number of users are coming from mobile okay so can we take a decision on that we can say yes we can take a decision if suppose more number of users are coming from mobile devices automatically our analytics team will give a decision will give a guidelines to the company saying that see we are getting more people from mobile devices we suggest that we should create an app we should create an app either an iphone app or either an android or whatever the device app we, we want we can create that app so first thing i would like to explain is understanding the user behavior means whether the user is actually coming for the first time or he's coming for the second time or we can also say we can analyze what browser he is using we can analyze whether he's coming from the desktop he's coming from a tablet or is it coming from a smartphone we can also analyze that particular information apart from that you can also know from which location is coming you can imagine suppose I'm doing a marketing okay assume that my target area is say for example Hyderabad or Andhra Pradesh and if I am able to know that most of the users who are seeing my website are in and around Hyderabad will it be positive for my approach or negative for my approach Obviously, it will be positive as or no. For example, if you take as a, another uh, point of view, let's take we have given a project to one company. But what is the problem is the company is targeting only Hyderabad, but they are getting visitors from all over the world. Like say they are getting some users from Turkey, they are getting fans from say Bangladesh. We can say that yes, by seeing the analytics, you can say there is something wrong in this particular company. There is something, some issues there in the company. Because of that, we are getting the traffic from various sources, but not from the country where we are targeting. So that is called as a user behavior. Number two is analyze the traffic sources. Take for example, if I tell, if you get an information in your report that we got totally 1000 users to our website. Okay, the next question you will ask is, how did they came? 
they, did they use search engine to find our website? Did they come from pay per click advertisement? Are they coming from social media website? If they are coming from social media, which site they are visiting, from which site they are coming? So you can imagine if a company knows all this information, can they able to really you know, uh, increase their priority on a specific channel? Imagine, for example, if I see that in Facebook, I'm getting a very, very huge increase in traffic. Then I can know, yes, in Facebook, I'm getting more traffic. Also, I'm getting conversion. Then I can change my marketing strategy to target more Facebook rather than targeting any other network. So that option is called as a analyze the traffic. And number three, analyze the site performance. Now, one more very important and crucial part of the analytics is we can understand when a user comes to our website, which content is seen more from our website. For example, if a website uh, has website pages A and pages B, if a person came to page A, is it going to page B or not? From page B, which page is moving on? If you want to analyze this data, which is nothing but the flow of the user, from which page, how is moving from one page to another page, this flow of the user, we can able to understand using the concept of analyze the website performance. So it will be very helpful for a web designer and UI designer to actually change the layout of the website. We can also change the navigation structure of the website to target more streamlined websites so that user can able to really connect to the website very, very fast. And finally, the most crucial part of analytics is conversion tracking. Now let me give you a small example here. Assume that we have got 500 users from search engine. Let's say they have typed a keyword, say uh, digital marketing training in Hyderabad and I got 500 visuals for this particular keyword. So at the end of the day, do am I looking for leads? Do I require some inquiries from that particular 500 users or just I want visitors? So we, we, you will say that yes, we want both the visitors, but that visitors should be converted. Converted in the sense, my goal of my website is I need to get inquiries. I need to get inquiries. So here, by using the conversion tracking concept, we can able to understand whether the users who are coming to our website, are they filling the form or not? Or if I'm doing e-commerce business, whether the person is purchasing a product or not, so I can able to filter, I can able to understand from which channel I'm getting more conversion, from which particular, uh, uh, we say, location I'm getting more conversion that way I can prioritize and I can able to customize my marketing effort based on the conversions and very very crucial finally is make decisions based on the reports remember the basic purpose the goal of the analytics professional is to take all the information let's say for example you see I am giving you some raw data raw data is I have got 1000 visitors okay number two is I have got out of that 500 visitors from search engine then again after that I will get that which keywords they are using like what is the job of analytics professional is we have to use this analytics data to take some decisions for example as I told you just now if our mobile traffic increases then our analytics take, team will take a decision that either our website should become mobile friendly or it should become a responsive web design or either we want we can also create an app if you take for example Flipkart and Snapdeal didn't have any app earlier but now if you see because of it very huge growth in the smartphone market. Now Flipkart has a mobile app as well as Snapdeal has a mobile app and all major players in the Indian industry has a smartphone app. So this decision making is actually dependent on analytics. So in our course we are going to study about how to use this analytics. What are the different metrics by which we can able to understand the data and take decisions based on this particular analytics data. Thank you very much for watching this particular video and I would like you to please subscribe uh, to our channel because Every week we are going to upload new videos and also if you like this video, if you like this demonstration, I would request you to please hit the like button as well as share with your friends and spread this particular words to your friends. Thank you very much for watching this video.